Welcome back. You have a rare opportunity to see a ring of fire in the morning sky tomorrow. Meteorologist Casey Dorn joins us to tell us more about how to safely view tomorrow's solar eclipse. Casey? Yeah, well, the air will feel a bit chillier and your sky is a bit darker Saturday morning. And not just because it's fall, an annual solar eclipse will be visible from the centennial state tomorrow morning. Now, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon crosses between the sun and the earth and can only occur when the moon is in its new phase. The moon casts a shadow on a small section of the earth. Now, in an annular eclipse, the moon is too far away from the earth to completely block the sun, creating a ring of fire effect around the moon along the path of annularity. Now, in southern Colorado, we'll be north of this path, which is only 125 miles wide, but not by much. The eclipse will be visible for us from 9.14 a.m. to 12.07 p.m., but most visible from 10.30 to 10.40 a.m., peaking with 86 to 90 percent of the sun covered, heading south from the springs to Trinidad. Mesa Verde National Park will see the full show with 3 minutes 13 seconds of annularity from 10.32 to 10.35 a.m. Otherwise, you can head down to Santa Fe or Albuquerque for the full show. Now, if you plan to watch the eclipse, viewing conditions are expected to be excellent. You'll need to put on your cool shades to be safe because the moon won't completely cover the sun. You'll need special glasses to view it safely. Whether you see the full path or not, it is never safe to look directly at the sun, including here. You'll need special eclipse glasses to view the eclipse safely. Ordinary sunglasses are not safe. Now, this is the first of two eclipses visible in southern Colorado in the next six months. A total eclipse will occur on April 8th, 2024. But if you don't plan to travel, this is the better show in southern Colorado. The April eclipse will only cover around 70% of the sun compared to the mid 80s to 90% covered in tomorrow's event. In studio, meteorologist Casey Dorn, News 5.